Ever seaman had a great idea at the age of six. Grand friends, his way to connect people across generations. So Everest is all grown up now, he's 10, and the young man from Aurora is being honored nationally for that idea, which had its first session of the school year at Fox Hollow Elementary this morning. The Grand Friend Project got started when my son was in first grade. I was about to go to bed and I told my mom, what if my class could come to Chelsea Place? And um, ever since the very first experience, it's been incredible, the way that the kids and the elders bond in such a short amount of time. Octopus mm. likes to eat crabs. crabs. Huh. I didn't know that, did you? Every year since, we've had Classes come into the library and have um, a bus full of elders come and read. See it. Zip. Listening to the kids read, they're all so cute. <laughs> they're really good readers nowadays. They're quite advanced, I think, from when I went to school. When I was in first grade, I, I'm sure we didn't read as well as that. <laughs> what is your word? The other thing that we felt like was important with the Grand Friend Project was talking to kids about dementia, um, telling them what to expect from their grand friends, what could happen, um, just talking about kind of resilience in life and um, getting along with people who might be different than yourself. Contacts we make with the kids and get ready to read the stories to them, oh yeah, I wouldn't do anything else. The connection between the elders and the kids is just amazing. As much as it gives to the kids who need that connection with grandparents and need that experience with older generations, the elders need it just as much. Ever's mom technically runs the group these days, but she says he's been pretty clear that he wants to give her the boot and run it all himself.